Good morning and welcome from Mission Control Houston and for join us, joining us today for the International Space Station Update Hour. Getting a look now inside as ground personnel in Houston, Texas monitor systems on board the orbiting laboratory. Currently on console, the Orbit 2 team is hard at work and they are being led today by Flight Director Emily Nelson. They are supporting the crew of Expedition 30, currently orbiting it on the International Space Station, just passing over Baja, California a few moments ago and continuing down the western coast of Mexico. That crew on board again is Expedition 30 and they are being led by NASA astronaut and Commander Dan Burbank there in the front row left of your screen. And then joining him also in the front row is Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko. And then across the back row, starting in the left, are Russian cosmonauts Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin. They are joined by European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers. And then finally rounding out the crew on the right is NASA astronaut Don Pettit. The crew woke up at about midnight central time today for another off-duty day as they are recovering from a vigorous weekend where they were unloading cargo from that recently docked Progress 46 vehicle, which arrived at the station late, when, wait, late Friday evening at 6.09 p.m. Central Time. The crew has just a few activities scheduled on their timeline for each one. Commander Burbank doing some work with the integrated cardiovascular monitoring system alongside with Don Pettit who is doing some data downloads from his, so Commander Burbank there. Burbank also did a reaction self-test uh, upon waking today, which is a quick five-minute test that allows crew members to monitor the daily effects of any fatigue due to performance on board the station. Anton Shkaplerov is working today with the Immuno Experiment, a Russian research look at determining changes in stress and immune responses during these long duration stays on board the station. He is also participating in a Russian public affairs event with Russian television stations and joining him will be Russian cosmonauts Anatoly Ivanishin and Olag Kanyenko. Ivanishin also today will be doing some laptop software refresh work looking at some of the antivirus software on one of those computers in the Russian segment. And then the final Russian cosmonaut, Olag Kononenko, will also be doing some routine coolant maintenance. European astronaut Andrei Kuiper's major activity for the day will be setting up the Earth knowledge acquired by middle school students' WARF camera, WARF standing for the Window Observational Research Facility. That is an educational experiment that allows students on the ground to actively participate in space-based research. And the final crew member of Expedition 30, Don Pettit, again, is doing some work with the Integrated Cardiovascular System, which is a research study that looks at heart atrophy due to the microgravity environment on board the International Space Station. He's doing some data downloads to controllers here on the ground. After all of this, the crew will be scheduled to go to sleep at about 3.30 p.m. Central Time today bringing a close to an off-duty day, again following a vigorous unloading activity following that Progress 46 dock that took place last Friday.